I have been at the University of Louisville in uh, a city called Louisville, the biggest city in, in Kentucky State. And um, since yesterday, I have been in another city called um, Lexington, where we have the University of Kentucky. So I'm still at the school. This is the, the background here. It's part of the school. It's a really beautiful school with a big student population. And the, the reason why I came here is uh, primarily because we need them to have discussions with um, school officials about collaborating uh, for our mutual benefit in a way that we're gonna be able to bring more students to pursue masters at this school. So there are certain levels we have been able to make, milestones we have been able to make in, in our discussions with the school. And this is one of the schools that we work, we are unconcerned that if someone ever came across our previous handbook, the University of Kentucky was there, but we later dropped it from the list of our institutions because of some bottlenecks that we experienced at the application stage. Uh, first of all, there was English proficiency requirements before admission. And for some of the programs, there was West evaluation, which we don't actually um, we usually require that they be well for our students or we consider partnering, rather partnering with schools that uh, don't have such kind of requirements. But there's one of the students who is uh, part of the program who in an unlikely case scenario and done TOEFL, the English proficiency requirement and he was able to submit the requirement to the school and that is why he found his way to this school. His name is Eric Wainaina. So through Eric, um, we've been able to learn more about the school. Of course, another big hindrance uh, that was making us not apply to this school before was the fact that it wasn't partnering with Empower Financing. Uh, but now it's a major partner with Empower Finance. You are watching Success with Bob Mweti Show, presented to you by Upstech America. Upstech America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstechamerica.com. Upstech America. We wake you up to the unlimited potential. So, when Eric was able to come here to this institution, he was able to give us some information that enabled us to start the process of actually starting engaging the school about how we can bring more students here. And by doing this, we were very clear that, you know, if if at all you need more students, international students, the best that you can do as an institution is to remove uh, these drawbacks that makes it impossible for international students to come and stand here at such a beautiful and high quality school. So uh, our um, discussions was majorly premised on the removal of these restrictions. And we have engaged the school at length. We've met with the uh, officials of the school, uh, directors uh, in charge of the running of different programs at the school at the graduate level. We've sat down with them. And one of the things that has come out of our uh, different engagement is that the school will consider and the school will remove these restrictions to our students. So when someone is 
going for instance to do master of science in in finance um they are not required to submit the english proficiency test like ielts or TOEFL. the same case with a course like uh, master of science in um supply chain management which is stem they are within the college of business so if someone is going to these programs they are not supposed to they are not actually required to submit the English proficiency uh, test. What they need to do is to actually engage the registrar's office at their respective schools to notify, to send a letter to the school notifying them that your language of instruction was English. So that, that bottleneck is no longer there. And as time goes by, as the schools come up with some form of a database with the different schools from Kenya where the language of instruction is, is um, English, they will be able to actually have students applying to these programs in future without having to engage their registrar's office back at home because they will still, through the process, through the students who go through the process, they will know that this is a school which waves, uh, which, whose language of instruction is English. So a student, for instance, from the University of Nairobi, who is applying to a particular course, will not be required to engage University of Nairobi to send to the school um, um, a letter showing that the, la the language of instruction of, was English because there have been previous cases of students submitting those letters showing that the language of instruction was, was English. But that is in the future as the, as, as the school and the department creates and creates more uh, data of these students. You have been watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, brought to you by Upstech America. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mwiti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.